Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman. Still recovering from laryngitis here, but we're gonna truck along. I got another one of these 10 gig ethernet adapters in, but this one so far is my favorite of this latest batch of USB 4 slash Thunderbolt 10 gig devices. This one comes from Unify, who's also the manufacturer of all of my home networking gear here. And like the others, you plug it in via USB 4 or Thunderbolt and you got yourself a 10 gig connection. It also works at 5 gig, 2.5, 1, and of course lower speeds too. And we're gonna take a closer look at this and see what it's all about in just a second. But I do wanna let you know in the interest of full disclosure that I paid for this with my own funds, all the opinions you're about to hear are my own. No one is paying for this review, nor has anyone reviewed or approved what you're about to see before it was uploaded. So let's get into it now and see what this Ethernet adapter is all about. Now the price point on this comes in at $200. It does cost a little bit more than some of the other ones we've looked at recently, but this one is totally fanless. It doesn't make any noise, unlike the other two we looked at that have very noisy fans when you start doing any kind of network connectivity. I found that it was plug and play on the Mac, on Linux, and on Windows, at least in my experience. They do have a support page up though with information about where you can acquire drivers for it should it not be plug and play on your particular computer. This does use the Marvel Action uh, chipset again, the AQC113. This is what all of these devices have been running with. What I like about Unify's approach here though is they give you a direct link to download the drivers from Marvel versus that very shady company we were looking at in my prior reviews. So I was very pleased to see some good support here and decent performance. Why don't we take a look at what I was running on it a little bit earlier. This was on my Mac, a basic internet speed test here. It was working pretty much as expected on my 10 gig connection. I often struggle to get uh, the full upload speed out of that test. I also ran a number of iPerf tests. Here's one that I ran on my Windows computer. As you can see here at the bottom of the screen, we were getting about 9.47 gigabits per second in both directions. I did run the test both ways. One little blip there, but by and large, it was working as expected and as advertised, both for sending data and receiving it. Again, look at the lower numbers there for the final result. On the Mac, we also ran the iPerf test, and here we were getting very similar performance, really no difference between what we saw on the Windows side. Again, successfully testing that speed in both directions. And I also did a test on my Linux computer running Ubuntu. Again, it was plug and play on the most recent version of Ubuntu. And here you can see that when that test executed, we were getting about 9.4 gigabits per second, just like we were on the other platforms. And again, I ran all of those iPerf tests in both directions so I could make sure throughput was working both ways, and it did. So quick one here, but I wanted to close the loop. I think I found an adapter that I'm comfortable with recommending. It performs well. It's a little more expensive than the other ones, but it doesn't have the noisy fan, and it's certainly more compact than some of the Thunderbolt adapters we saw from a couple of years ago. So good performance here from Unify, and that will do it for this one. Until next time, this is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching.